Hey, welcome back. Since we're on such a roll, let's continue going. So in this video on how to use the Cute Game Engine, I'm going to be teaching you how to place multiple maps in your game and have your entity move between the maps. So when your entity gets close to the edge of one map, it moves to the adjacent map. Let's fire up the IDE and dive straight into the code. Hello. Okay, so let's go ahead and create multiple maps and have the entity move between the maps. So we'll start by just, uh, we'll start by actually expanding our map grid. Right now, our map, our map grid is one by one. So in other words, it can only hold one map. We need to put a second map in there. So we will make it one by two. And I'm extending it along the, I believe, um, this parameter. Let's look at the hints in the vertical direction. So we're going to have two maps stacked. Uh, our original map, we're going to put it on position uh, zero, one. So this is going to be the top map. And we're going to actually visualize, of course, the top map, first of all. And now we're going to go ahead and create our second map. So create second map. And we're going to do this just like before. We're going to call it map 2. And this time I'm going to make this a different size. So I won't use the default constructor. I'll use this constructor. I want to make this 50 cells horizontally, 50 cells vertically. I want to make each cell 32 by 32. Just to show you guys uh, the, the various APIs, the various ways to construct things. So I made my second map. I'm going to add this in the map grid, just like before. I'm going to add it at 0, 0. So this is the bottom map in the map grid. And so, so far the map has been added to the map grid, but since our player is stuck on the top map, we will never see the bottom map. We need to add a behavior to the entity such that when he gets close to the border of one map, he moves to the adjacent map. Now remember what I said in the previous tutorial about what do you think whenever you consider adding behaviors to entities? You should be asking yourself the question, does a pre-built entity controller exist for this task? And if it doesn't, I need to create that controller. So lucky for you, of course, uh, controllers do exist to help you with this. So first of all, the first thing we want to do is we want the camera to follow our entity. And so we use an EC camera follower to do that. I'll show you. It's just easier. So include the header. And now we're gonna so make camera follow entity. So and again, all entity controllers take in into their constructor the entity that they're gonna control. So we're gonna pass in our entity and that's it. Now the camera should follow our entity. Let's go ahead, cross our fingers, hope for no errors, and launch this. Let's move around. This, that's kind of cool. See, as I'm moving, my player is centered in the camera. Okay, so that worked out just fine. Now we want it so that when the player gets to the edge of this bottom map, he goes to the top. So let's see. How do we do that? Well, there's another entity controller for that. So make entity move to the next map uh, when close enough, right? So the entity controller for this is map mover. Let's include its header file. And let's go ahead and create one. Map mover cunt new cunt controller. That stands for controller, not whatever you're thinking. Map mover. Okay, and again we pass the entity entity to be controlled in the constructor. So now let's go ahead and launch it and play around with it. And now when our entity gets close to the edge of the map, it should move to the next map. But that may cause us a crash or it may cause a weird behavior because let's see. So yeah, you see he just disappeared. Well, he's in the next map, but the game is still visualizing the current map, right? This map. The entity did actually jump to the next map. So how do we make the game 
change maps based on where a particular entity is. That's another entity controller. Um, so what we're going to say is make, uh, so let's see, how do I say this? Set games current map as the map that a particular entity is in. Okay, so the controller is called EC Current Map Grabber. That might not be the best name. I'm open to suggestions. EC Current Map Grabber. So the controlled entity of this controller, whenever that entity moves to a new map, the game will have to visualize that map. Hope that makes sense. So EC Current Map Grabber. Now let's see if these three controllers. So this uh, demonstrate that demonstrates that sometimes you may need to use multiple controllers to achieve your task. And what's even cooler is that you can combine these controllers. You can have one controller use another controller. It's kind of cool. We will see an example of that in future tutorials. But let's see if these three controllers achieved our initial goal of having the player go between maps. So let's move around. The camera follows. Now let's go to the edge of this. And there we go. We teleported to the top map. Now let's go to the edge of this one. And we teleported back. Uh, I wouldn't say it's teleporting. It's moving into the next map. There we go. Kind of cool. Uh, not a lot of code to achieve all of this, if you ask me. Not only that, but I think it's really fun the way that it is. You just kind of attach behaviors to entities. Um, this is basically like kind of like the dream API that I imagined when I was creating this game. Uh, so I highly recommend, as always, that you know as we're using these classes, uh, you check out their documentation. Just right-click him, follow symbol under cursor, right, and read their documentation. It's short, it's thorough, um, it's very helpful, and and the vast majority of them have uh, an example code that you can use. So maybe the camera follower um, yeah there we go an example of how to use it not not only is the actual class documented but each member function is documented as well so as you can see like this member function is documented so as we as uh, you're going through these tutorials and you're using all these different classes to achieve all these different goals go ahead and at least skim the documentation so thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, we got a lot of really, really awesome stuff coming up. The further you get in this tutorial series, the cooler things you're going to see because we're getting the boring stuff out of the way right now. So see you in the next tutorial.